Instagram is the app of deception. In this video, I'll open up the curtain on many different ways that consumers are misled while using Instagram. I'm using deception in the title of this video because what I'll share with you in just a second are strategies that influencers use in order to gain a large following on Instagram. The deception exists because the large follower numbers trick our brains into giving out credibility naturally from the social proof. More followers means more credibility, right? If you come across an account with 500,000 followers and they're selling business information or teaching you how to become a millionaire, then your immediate response is to believe that they're legitimate from the social proof. If 500,000 people are gaining value from this account, then surely they're legit. As you'll see in today's video, followers on Instagram are purchased. In 2021, if an account grows on Instagram quickly, then it's from paid marketing efforts. There is nearly no one that is growing fast organically. This video isn't about scammers or fake gurus specifically. The point of this video is to simply show you that someone having a large following does not automatically mean they're legit, and you'll see the strategies they use to grow on Instagram quickly. One way that aspiring influencers grow their Instagram accounts is by participating in loop giveaways. This is Trippy Red, who is the most recent influencer to host a giveaway. They all follow the same template. They're giving away a couple of desirable consumer items, a couple of winners will be chosen, and you'll need to complete the steps in order to be entered to win. Trippy Red has 12.4 million followers on Instagram, which leads to this scheme being big business. Step one of the giveaway is to follow everyone that the at Trippy Gives Back account is following. Let's click that account. This account is following 96 people. In order to enter to win the prizes, you will need to follow these 96 people. I'll show you those 96 people now. It'll make sense on why I'm showing you this in just a second. All the people you see on the screen paid to participate in this giveaway as a sponsor. Each of these sponsors pay multiple thousands of dollars in order to be on this list. Why in the world would they pay that much money to be a sponsor? Coincidentally, just as I was writing up the script for this video, I saw this on Baller Buster's story. This guy, Adam Quinn, works for High Key, who is one of the big names in the loop giveaway business. This gives you good insight into why a sponsor would sign up. He says estimated follower gain of 90K to 100K. The celebrity posting the giveaway is 6'9". He'll be promoting the giveaway multiple times, and the discounted price is $9,600, a discount from the normal $15,000. Back to all of the sponsors. Everyone you see in this list paid some amount of money to participate. For someone like 6'9", who has 23.1 million followers, or Trippy Red, the sponsors are willing to pay up to maybe $15,000. These giveaways have been done so many times that the hosts know the conversion percentage pretty well. By the way, you do the math. 96 people paying to sponsor a giveaway at $10,000 a pop, and you're talking big business. That's nearly $1 million in revenue, maybe a couple thousand in prizes, and pay the influencer $100,000 for a post or two big business. This is a really popular growth strategy on Instagram right now because it doesn't break any of the rules on Instagram technically, and as long as the prizes are given out, there's no scam being done. For this trippy red giveaway, the host is Carter Jamison, who I spoke with on the phone a month or two ago as he helped explain the industry to me after I made the video on why the loop giveaways are a scam. I've heard good things about his operation, so hopefully he's one of the good actors and people will actually win the prizes. He said that business owners will see a legitimate return on their investment and that many are happy with the services. I've heard that the accounts receiving the best return were girls using the loop giveaways for an OnlyFans funnel. All the people you saw that were the sponsors of this trippy red loop giveaway paid good money to see a huge boost to their following numbers. Even if 0.5% of Trippy's fans go and follow all of the accounts in order to enter to win, then that's a boost of 62,000 followers to your account if you're a sponsor. Now imagine doing this two to three times a year. It may cost you $50,000 in your marketing budget, but you could jump from zero to probably 120,000 followers within a year easily. I'm not going to name any names, but fake gurus all of a sudden having 1 million followers while posting this same cliche and vague business advice aren't growing from credibility. They're growing from the dinero they had to start with. The other day, I received this direct message in my inbox. The account who sent it is clearly an account created using some form of automation, Elizabeth Baker, and then a bunch of numbers. The text reads, hey, hope all is well, and you are crushing it today. Have you heard of at Carlos Reyes? He's one of the top real estate investors in the country and has helped thousands achieve financial freedom through his real estate content, events, and coaching. I highly encourage you to follow him. It will be worth your time. This is a paid service that Carlos purchased for his marketing efforts on Instagram. I don't know the cost of a service like this, but I imagine thousands of messages are sent every day. He's up to 756,000 followers on Instagram. His account is playing the Instagram game of sharing memes that he didn't create that are highly engaging, but you can see when he shares his own stories, the engagement numbers are as low as the calories in a bottle of water. This post has 431 likes, while the one before it has only 719 likes. This is a perfect example of the silly nature of influencers. People clearly don't care about Carlos because the posts of him making his content 
have such low engagement numbers that I think it's an error. Here's another one with only 613 likes. Think of how insane this is. 756,000 people follow his account and only 613 people like the post. 756,000 followers, that means 755,387 didn't see or like the post. That's 0.08% engagement rate. On Instagram, it's all a game of vanity metrics and how many followers you have. This is the outcome of paid marketing. Sure, you can have high follower accounts, get a blue check mark, look like you're the boss, but how many people are actually engaged with you? That's why you always need to look at engagement. Carlos is legit, I'm not trying to ruin his credibility here, but this is the strategy fake gurus use to get you to believe they're a huge Instagram account based on some stupid vanity metrics that were paid for. A lot of the fake gurus I go after in my videos have large social media accounts. News alert, it's not because their recycled cliche business quotes are full of wisdom and everyone is learning so much. It's a pay for success platform, my friends. A strategy that some marketers will use is a mother-child growth hacking setup. This term is used because you have a mother account which acts as the main account that wants to grow. The children account's sole purpose is to help drive traffic to the mother account. I came across a pretty good example of this strategy this morning. Madison Beer is a popular singer and influencer and these are three accounts that display media of Madison, video, and images. These accounts might not be specifically child accounts of her marketing campaigns, but for the sake of this example, let's pretend they are. The purpose of these three child accounts is to draw views, likes, and follows to the mother account. But having child accounts, the reach is so much larger than with just one account. These three child accounts could reach a new audience by using the same video or images, but toying around with different upload timing and different hashtags. A fan page growth method. We're going to create a uh, a bunch of child accounts for your parent Instagram account. Now your parent Instagram account is gonna be your main business profile or branding page. What we actually do is we create a list of child accounts. Now these are gonna be either um, fan page accounts uh, that are kind of like mimics of your brand that serve as um, small spaces where fans of your brand would collaborate and connect. Another strategy that many influencers use to grow an account is to use the follow unfollow strategy, which is simply spam following accounts that might be a good consumer in your niche and then mass unfollowing those accounts once they follow you. I'm sure all the people who aren't too familiar with Instagram are confused right now. Like, what kind of platform is this? You follow people just to unfollow them after they follow you? Yes, that's correct. I've made previous videos about Instagram being full of frauds and why Instagram is dumb. It's all a game and those who are willing to pay to grow become influencers and those willing to play stupid games become influencers. Hopefully by now you understand why I always say you have to pick your mentors and favorite influencers carefully. Child accounts is that we're gonna implement our normal growth automation. That means follow unfollow service on an automated a uh, set list of criteria that's outlined by you. All the growth and traffic and followers that these child accounts gain, we're actually gonna use a call to action to send all of that traffic and all of those followers to your parent account. The last strategy I'll uncover is paying for shoutouts on an account that is within your niche or has the audience that you're looking to reach. I came across an example just now in my Explore feed. This account, Golf Queens, highlights pretty women who play golf. The top right picture is a picture from the account named at Fazoni. Her name is featured in the description. And when you click on the tagged icon, you can see that she gets a tag as well. I can't confirm that she paid for the shoutout, but this is how the growth hacking game works. And my guess is that she did. The followers on the Golf Queens account are looking to see images of pretty women playing golf and are super targeted accounts for that niche. If you're a woman golfer and want to grow your Instagram account, it makes sense to pay the Golf Queens account for a shout out. Instagram shout outs are a very, very good way to grow your Instagram account, even though it is quote unquote paid traffic that you're paying for, uh, you're definitely going to get a lot more organic traffic to your Instagram account by using paid Instagram shout outs. If you're new to the channel, I enjoy sharing all the ways that what you see on social media is generally not as it seems. Everything talked about in this video isn't meant as an expose on tactics that are unethical. If I was selling products on Instagram, I think I'd use a lot of these methods to grow my account, which would hopefully lead to more sales. If we're specifically talking about the fake guru world though, the fake gurus and scammers will use every tactic in the book to try and convince you that they're legit. Social proof from having hundreds of thousands of people follow them on Instagram is one of those ways. Hopefully you watch this video all the way through and are now aware of tactics that people can use to grow an Instagram account. If you have enough money, you can become a blue check mark business expert on Instagram without any actual credibility. It's a pay to play game. 
those with money can grow quickly. When I was a smaller YouTube channel, it always humored me when people commented that the fake guru has more followers than me, so he's clearly legit and you're just a hater. It was all good because the people following these fake gurus aren't aware of the methods they use to buy credibility. That's all it really is. Fake gurus don't have credibility from their business growth, teaching methods, or history of business success, so they have to hack the system. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.